Hello, my name is Gary, this is Claudia, and we're going to break down downward facing dog. Hands in knees position, hands under the shoulder, knees under the hips, spread your fingers wide, wrist crease should be straight, tuck the toes under, and press the hips back. So lifting the hips and pressing the hips back, reaching the heels to the floor, the way that I teach downward facing dog, if you can touch the floor with your heels, it needs to be a little bit longer. This is important, the good grip, spreading your fingers as wide as possible. It doesn't matter if the index fingers and the middle fingers are straight, it matters that the wrist crease is straight. So it's different for different people. For me, it's kind of halfway in between. Wrapping the lats around towards the chest, you want to make some nice space through the thoracic middle spine, and wrapping the lats around is also going to engage the pec muscles, your chest muscles. Sliding the shoulder blades just slightly down the back, makes a nice socket for the shoulders to sit in, the neck is relaxed, and gazing mindlessly between the big toes is your drishti in this posture. It's like there's a little dot between the toes. Feet are hip width, just a little bit less than hip width technically, just a tiny bit. And when I do down dog, I like to feel like there's a little weight in my sacrum right here, so like I'm being pulled back and lengthened at the same time. Always feeling like you're stretching the mat long in your down dog. And this is a nice down dog cloud. He's got a very beautiful downward facing dog. So common things that I see in down dog that are incorrect, uh, hand position. I see hands, fingers. Can you bring your fingers kind of close together, Cloudy? I see fingers close together. I see hands position. Pivot your hands out. I see hand. I see this a lot with newer students' hands. This is very important, this wrist position here. I see rounding in the back a lot with down dog. I see a lot of this stuff happening. Feet too close together, right? Very common, not wrapping the lats around the chest, so we've seen more of this stuff happening than this widening happening through the back right here, right? So the biggest deal is hands shoulder width, feet hip width, stretching the mat long, making a nice socket, wrapping the lats around, engaging your core strength. Namaste.